Hi, I'm Neely Kitten, and I am the creator for the Glamour Rat Condo. Unfortunately, I do not actually have the Rat Condo itself anymore. Uh, this is a video update on the Glamour Rat Condo. So, um, I'm actually in another house, which gives me a better opportunity to build an even more cooler rat cage for my new pet rats. Uh, parts and pieces of it I actually do have. However, uh, at the time frame, I was living in a different area of California, so I had actually relocated back to Southern California. I'm going to provide a web link, and you guys can totally go to the website. You can actually see all the photographs or the data that I'd actually had stored on this laptop. And um, I'll just provide some of those photographs so you can get a feel for some of the materials that I actually bought. Um, you can actually buy other specific things from Home Depot or Lowe's if you're not satisfied with some of the materials that I have in the art supply list. Um, there's other alternatives as well. Uh, these are just my creative inspirations that I had, you know, picked up while I was just kind of like shopping along the way in Home Depot and um, just kind of applied my own knowledge and skills for my art background and my visual arts and fashion design interior home decorating as well. And um, at the time frame, it was my first time having pet rats. So that's where a lot of the inspiration came from besides my art background. Um, also, uh, when it came to this art inspiration, nobody actually told me what to do or what to go buy. I kind of uh, went online and I just kind of like did my own research. I just looked around at other people's creativity and ideas and I thought, well, nothing is going to come close to my creativeness of what I have that's stored in this brain of mine. So um, whatever photographs that I have left over, I'm going to try to show what I can display on the monitor for you guys and hope you enjoy. Uh, the supplies are really accessible if you're willing to have the energy and all your devotion and love to your pet rats and you know desire to build a pyramid bookcase glamour rat condo then go for it. So uh, it currently does not exist anymore however I am living in another house so I plan to build another rat cage. As I scroll down and you look through all the images, you will see some of the parts and pieces that I bought. Um, at the time I was in graduate school, so I was taking my studies on the computer. Um, you can actually see my desk area right here, which is pretty much what I studied from. I think it was like in 2010 when I posted it, but um, a lot of people want me to remake the video. Well, unfortunately, I can't recreate that whole entire artistic moment that I had during that inspiration way back in 2010. It's completely impossible. But I can actually go over some of the specifics of why I chose to do this and the materials that I actually, you know, picked out in order to make this whole entire glamour condo come to life for my pet rats. It was my first time actually adopting pet rats, and I thought, okay, it would be kind of awesome if I could actually build, you know, a really badass rat cage from my own artistic perspective, because I am somebody who likes to create, I like to use my hands, I'm on the computer a lot, I love to sew. Um, at the same time, I was running a house. It was my first time running a house. I was like, oh boy, I get to like bang, I get to use hammers and nails, I get to be as loud as I want, which is pretty much the type of gal that I am. So I figured, okay, I'm going to get a little bit creative here. I can do this. I'm strong. I can do this. If you can take a ceramics class, you know, sculpture, if you can watch, like, watch your friends weld, then I should be able to take pieces of wood and all these crazy ass things and just put them together and make this glamour rat condo. Here is the original uh, Rock Princess. Uh, it's kind of like a picture frame type deal. So this is one original piece that I still have. And I still have all the toys that were actually included inside of it. Another piece that I still have is obviously the girl's rock. 
this is the most badass thing that makes it rock um, for the rat condo. This is where our, most of the data is. So I was able to take the uh, footage that I had originally in the old iMovie and transfer it to my new MacBook Pro. You can go to Home Depot, you can go to Lowe's to get all the materials to build. And obviously it's gonna take time, it's gonna take energy. Uh, this took months to build. I did this over the summertime and I can say that it was a lot of hard work. It was a lot of energy. You know, I had all this cool positive energy surrounded by me and at the same time I was taking my graduate studies on the internet so this gave me the chance to actually express myself. You can also get the supplies uh, when you start to decorate inside of the cage. Uh, you can go to Ross, you can go to Marshalls, you know, you can go to Target. You can go to all these, you know, affordable stores just to pick up little random stuff besides the pet store. Um, I bought hardware cloth. It was probably about three feet by five feet. And it was about $10.86. I got a lot of the like chicken wire type stuff from there. There were other things you can go get coal wood just to create like the doorway. I think it was like the inner part where you shut the door where I added the chicken wire later on. As for the wood finish, I actually used a pyramid type bookcase and I actually was shopping one day for like school supplies and I think I was like at a uh, office max and I saw this really awesome pyramid bookcase and I was like, oh my God, it's a black finish. It looks so awesome. I got to buy it. It's about a hundred something dollars. Um, but that was the shelving base unit that I had used and I bought two of them. So I built it and I put them together and I put them sideways and then around that is how I took the chicken wire and then I started to build around it. So in the inside there are some screws, there are pieces of wood, there are pieces of like plexiglass. Um, there's pieces of like L-shaped type metal things in there in order to hold the wood pieces together. And then other than that, it was basically just trying to take the time and your creativity in order to put the pieces together. I mean, obviously, I would get up early at the crack of dawn, and I was all excited. I was like, yes, I get to rock the backyard and be loud again <laughs> with hammers and nails. And as for the pieces of wood, um, I actually had uh, my boyfriend, he actually took pieces of the wood and actually saw them for me. I mean, obviously I went to Home Depot myself um, and I got some of the guys to go cut some of the lumber for me. And I had to do a lot of convincing to cut some specific pieces of wood down to smaller sizes because there's, you know, a limit on what they can do in cutting specific sizes. You know, there were flat corner braces that were used. That's what I was talking about. Um, a lot, I used some wood screws as well. Additionally, um, from what I see here on the data, I also use like screw eyes. Um, I think that was pretty much it. And it was just basically just building the wood frame in the front for the door. I used a lot of the L-shaped type uh, flat corner braces in order to like hold them together. I also used Gorilla Glue. Um, and by the time that I was done with that, I actually took the time to paint the outside of it black. Now, of course, again, it was hot outside. It was the summertime. And of course, I sweat my little rat tail off. So that shows how much love and care I put into that. By the time this project started to kind of, you know, unroll, it started to end up going into my living room. So if you can imagine a whole entire wall, I dedicated my whole entire wall to my pet rats because it was like a double size. And I would estimate it was a little bit 
you know, wider than the Critter Nation cages that you guys see for like Model 162 um, that most pet rat owners have. Uh, I actually invested making a bunch of ladders. Uh, in the video, you're going to see that I built a lot of ladders. I took pieces of wood and I had that custom, you know, cut for me. And then also at the same time, in between the middle, you'll see little sticks. They're bamboo. And I had actually tied that down with, like, yarn. I had twisted it around with yarn and then I had actually just wrapped it around with it. And then the rats actually loved it. I mean, when they got into the cage, they were like totally in rat heaven. I was so much in rat tears that they were running around like so excited. I mean, they had all these cool mazes to go around in. And um, at the same time, I had like kind of like bamboo pyramid type little uh, stands. I found that, I think I was shopping in Ross one day and I found it. I was like, oh my God, those would be so cool. They would love to jump on top of those. So I actually uh, built those inside of there. And then some of the stuff that you see in the front, there's some glass in the middle of the cage. Uh, that is just to make it a little bit more kind of like, you know, kind of like fancy looking. And then I actually toss in uh, the rock princess at the top uh, just to give it a little bit of uh, glamour. And then also there's a photograph frame that I got at the bottom. It's called Girls Rock where it kind of looks like it's a little window doorway. I actually still have that. Um, that's actually a picture frame. I had to kind of like custom modify it myself in order so that you could kind of see through the little window when they're running around or hanging out down below. A lot of the pieces that you see at the bottom, like the frames, there's like a leopard pink frame. I actually found those, I think at Ross or Marshall's when I was shopping. So I bought a couple of those and I created the wood frame at the bottom that you guys can still see in the video when you watch it. And then in the very bottom corner are two pink rat cages. Um, I actually had those, you know, for traveling in the car, taking them to the vet. So the bottom area was considered more of like a storage unit area. And at the top, you know, is kind of like a little bit more decorations and their little food and plastic bottles, uh, you know, containers. And then, of course, their little Barbie car is at the top because you got to rock with the car, a sports car for your pet rats. And I would say that's pretty much it for everything that I did, just investing the time and energy for this pet rat cage. Uh, you know, I'm not somebody who's an expert. I just took the time and artistic love in order to invest in my little pet rats, which I did. And it took, a, it took I would probably say about maybe in between a total of two to three months to actually create this artistic piece project. As I zoom into the Glamour Rat condo that I created myself, you'll see lots of Glamour type things that I did for my pet rats. Uh, they're all female. Um, a lot of this stuff I try to get really creative, as you can see, that's the glass front in the middle. The rat movie, Willard, which has Crispin Glover, and he's a really badass actor, really gorgeous. Over there, you'll see kind of like little things in the middle, like little gadgets, uh, little houses. Some of that stuff is actually little toys that I picked up in the kids' section. Um, like the little house with the kitty cat on there, it was like a bug catcher. You'll also see lots of ceramic bowls that are really decorative with polka dots on it. Um, they love sleeping in those keeps their body temperature really cool. You'll see kitty cat toys spread throughout. You'll see their little food section and little pink plastic bowls. There is a section for cat litter, which is yesterday's news, the recyclable type. And the most important aspect of this whole entire art project that I actually created. A lot of comments I have gotten and a lot of questions. I'm gonna go on and answer this for you right now. Uh, how the heck did you clean this rat cage up? Well, I got up every morning. Obviously, I was taking my graduate studies online, so I was up at the crack of dawn. I had to study. I had to do research. Other than that, you know, these rats were really important to me. Um, I got up every morning, and I made sure I cleaned their rat cage every single day. That is how true of a rat mama I am. I 
would clean their rat cage habitually. Um, I took everything out. I washed it in the sink. Any laundry that needed to be done, I totally did that as well. Any rat litter that needed to be changed, I did that. I made sure that any new chew toys, you know, that were pretty much already torn apart, I got rid of it and I replaced it. Pretty simple. You know, if you're lazy, then why do you want to have a pet rat? But obviously, I'm a really energetic person and I love my pet rats, so I made sure that I cleaned up after them. It was pretty simple. You know, it wasn't hard labor. So, if you love your pet rats, clean up after them. Cleaning up was very important for my pet rats in general and I love them. So, clean up after your pet rats. I am a proud homemaker and I busted my little rat tail making that cage. Um, it was totally the most amazing experience that I ever had during, you know, for somebody who's an artist. Um, and I did it all while I was taking my graduate studies online. So I'm actually proud of myself and I think I rock and my rats totally loved it. And I plan to actually make another rat cage. So, um, the next rat cage that I plan to make, I'm going to make sure that I actually go into a little bit more steps and I'm going to try to record as much data and footage that I can for the new rat cage. And I'll go into that later on during a rat tutorial for a rat cage, a uh, glamour rat tour later on. So, um, other than that, I had a blast making this project and I call it a project. It's my art project. I'm going to always forever love it. You know, those are all my six pet rats that I really love with all my kitten heart and soul. Unfortunately, they're not alive anymore. They actually passed away because pet rats only last for about three years. And I actually have new pet rats, so I'm going to actually plan to build a new structure for my future pet rats. At the same time, you know, I'm still going to incorporate all these little cool pieces into my artistic rat works.